Welcome back to First Take. We are coming to you live from above the Chase River Deck at Pier 17. All right, we now welcome in Dominique Foxworth to the conversation. You know, Max, after uh, we all felt a little disrespected with uh, Ryan's comments about CP3 oh, not yes. being as great as Rondo, we had to uh, kick him out for a few Get segments. Him out of here. That's right. Say foolish. No, he said, go. he said he said that also, CP3 is not better than Rondo now because of health. He had to go. Also, we uh, also have another stud joining us right now. We got Keyshawn Johnson. So, as everyone likes to say, time to throw him the damn ball. <laughs> What's up, Charlie? How you guys doing? doing? (laughs) I'm good. What up, Don? What's happening, fam? All right, Max. What's up, buddy? This is 710 Reunion, ESPN Radio. This this is great. All right, let's talk about some Cowboys. According to Mike Florio of Pro Pro Football Talk, Ezekiel Elliott has said privately that he intends to hold out unless he gets a new contract with the Cowboys. Meanwhile, the Cowboys still have yet to get a deal done with starting QB Dak Prescott. So, guys... The question right here, who deserves top dollar more, Dak or Zeke? Keyshawn, we'll start things off with you. Well, I think it's an interesting situation that the conversation has shifted to. I'm going to hold out. The last time the Cowboys had a running back hold out was Emmitt Smith. They went on to and they went on to the Super Bowl. Now, look, Ezekiel Elliott has a long way to go to get put into the Emmitt Smith category. But at the same time, here's a guy who wants to get paid, who's due to get paid. Uh, But with the Cowboys, it's an interesting situation because, as we all know, Zeke's had some not necessarily flattering things happen to him off the field. He's had some questionable things happen to him off the field. So I think the Cowboys can still get a deal done, put themselves in a protection position in terms of the contract, language within the contract that will, you know, protect them from anything going wrong. But you also need to get the quarterback done and you need to pay the quarterback like he's supposed to. He's earned the right. He's gone to the playoffs. He's won games. Yes, he struggled when Ezekiel Elliott was not in the lineup, but yet and still, he's done a terrific job. They gave him Amari Cooper a year ago. He went 7-2 and two down the stretch with Amari Cooper in the lineup. They went into the playoffs. They didn't come out of the playoffs and get to the Super Bowl, but it's a step in the right direction. So I think both need to be paid, but I think that needs to be paid before Zeke, and then Zeke gets paid, and you put some protection into that con- contract, and everybody's happy. Look, the quarterback has to get done first. And Dak has earned it as the face of the Dallas Cowboys. That's different than just a quarterback. You're, the, you're occupying the most iconic position in American team sports at this point in our country's history. But Max, history. It's but the, Max. It's is, the quarterback is, of the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Is it, what, but Zeke, is he the face of the Dallas Cowboys, or no. is it Zeke Elliott the face of the Dallas well, Cowboys? Well, well I, I think ultimately long term it's going to be Dak because of the way he carries himself, because of all those leadership qualities, and the fact that he's a good player. So you've got to do him first, I agree. And he's going to have to get paid much more than Ezekiel Elliott. But if the question is – who deserves top dollar, then I'm saying, we're talking about for their position, the top dollar at quarterback is $35 million a year. I'm not giving Dak $35 a year. The, gar- the biggest guarantee is $110 million. I'm not guaranteeing Dak $110 million yet. Ezekiel Elliott, who's going to be entering his age 24 season, top dollar is, under, is a little bit over $14 million, what Todd Gurley got. Uh, uh, guarantee is $45 million. Right. So I will give Ezekiel Elliott top dollar as a running back, even if I pay Dak more and do him first, because Dak is not an elite quarterback. Zeke is an elite running back. Well, but Dak, the things that Dak means to this team is far more important than what Zeke uh, means to this team. You think about it, I understand that Dak has had struggles at different points throughout the regular season, but in the playoffs, when we're talking about what is important, he's the guy who steps up. You go back to his rookie season, he went toe-to-toe with Aaron Rodgers. If it wasn't for an outlandish pass by Aaron Rodgers, he would have won. And in that game, he scored three, he led three fourth-quarter scoring drives against Aaron Rodgers when they needed it and put him over the top. Last year in the playoffs, he led a game-winning playoff drive in their first game. He is the guy. I know Zeke is very important, and the offense is built around him. And you're kind of going off on a little different tangent there when you're arguing who deserves to get paid more for their position. Who's more valuable to this team is how I understand this question. And by far, it's Ezekiel Elliott. I think so. I think you're you're right, Fox. It's Ezekiel Elliott? At the same time. I'm sorry, it's uh, Dak Prescott. That's called a Freudian Uh, slip. uh, Uh, Freud's been discredited. Just about everything that Freud said was wrong. Listen, you, you just proved at, them right. You just undid decades of work. When you look at the value of the position, the quarterback is the most valued position in sports as far as I'm concerned. It's like having a, a solid point guard in basketball. 
Yes, the number is high. It's 30 some odd million dollars. It's 100 million dollars in guarantee. But that's the market, Max. That's the market. Think about it. In, in, in any job that you do in this country, there's a market that is set. For all of us that's on television, there's a market that's set. And we want to be paid according to the market. And he wants to be paid, that, that is, wants to be paid according to the market. We can argue that he's not elite. Who's to say he's not elite? He's in an offense that does things different. Okay, they don't allow him to push the ball down the field 50 times a game. They don't allow him to pad his statistics. There's a reason he's, for that. He's though. not in a Stafford type situation in Detroit where they throw the ball all over the lot for 5,000 yards. He's not in that situation. He's not in a Jared Goff offense that pushes the ball down the field. What he does is he wins football games. He utilizes his his uh, his his running style to extend the plays. He does all of the things that some of these other quarterbacks don't do. And now, also, he never it, steps in it in the media. He in an intense media atmosphere. He, he always says games. the right thing. <laughs> he, he doesn't, doesn't miss games. games. He doesn't he's do durable. any of those things. He's, look, I, I'm and he not comes arguing. through in the clutch like he's the quarterback that. of that team. And Dominique, you make a great point. We were talking about it yesterday. Think of how many scores he was down in, against Green Bay. He never gave up, and so the team followed him. And if it's not for, I think, the best football talent at the position of all time – making one of his great all-time throws, Dak wins that game. I get it. He's got that stuff on the inside. But NFL, hard cap, you got to rob Peter to pay Paul. Dak is not the type of guy I'm gonna to tell you the whole back. team yet. I Max, I'm going to tell is. you again, stop believing in the cap. They can pay who they want to pay. It's called restructuring contracts. It's called finding the money. Jerry Jones has plenty of cash to find the money. Trust how me. Can you, how can you, you argue that he's not elevating someone? his team when, when you just admitted that he was the reason why they were even well, in the game in that playoff game against um, Green Bay? And, again, he led a, led a game-winning drive in their first round last year. He is elevating everyone around him. And I understand that he hasn't done well necessarily statistically matched up with other elite quarterbacks. But that part of that, we all agree, is Scott Linehan. But, and Dominic, Kellen Moore that, coming that, in that's this not year. true. The statistical side is not true. Carson Wentz, Jared Goff. And this guy all came out at the same time. You look at their numbers, very similar. Everybody's numbers are on par. The number that stands out to me the most is his rushing ability. Those right. guys don't have that. But when you look at the wins, the losses, you look at the passing completion percentages, you look at the yards in the air, you look at the, the, the uh, you just look at it all. They're all right together. They're right. all no, I stacked would say, on top of each key, other. I would, say, I would say the difference is his durability. Because if Carson Wentz had his durability, I don't think this would be close. But he doesn't, and so you can make the argument. But look, Carson Wentz got the contract. We can table that. Russell Wilson, I think, deserved the money. I, I wouldn't have given Matt Ryan the deal. I wouldn't have given Matthew Stafford that deal. I wouldn't have given Kirk Cousins the deal he got. Just because they got gonna, it doesn't so make you it never a good decision. Pay a quarterback, is... Max, who you going to pay? <laughs> Well, no, you <laughs> pay. You have to pay the he's, right quarterback, gonna be and you got to pay him appropriately. He's going to be an unemployed you, GM is what's going to happen to Max. Have you seen a team without a quarterback and what that looks like? Yeah, you have to have a quarterback. you got to have a quarterback, over, and that doesn't he's mean you one overpay a quarterback so that you're cash-strapped in other positions, and then happen. you never win. So in this situation, we're we're arguing over who needs to be who deserves to get top dollar more. You would go with Zeke over Dak, which does to me doesn't make any sense. If you pay, I think both of them need to be paid. Obviously, I'm not going to argue against that either of those top guys getting money. But when it comes down to the big plays needing to be made in big time situations, Dak has showed up time and time again. And that's how we measure quarterbacks. That's how we measure great players. Is who's going to make those big plays in the playoffs? And he was able to do it as a rookie, and he's been able to do it in his third year. And I expect under Kellen Moore, he'll have even better. How many playoff wins does he have? Going forward. How many playoff wins does he have? He's in his third but, but, year, but, but me, Max. Let me, let me, come to hell, dude. Wait, wait, he just wait, wait, finished wait. his third year. I, I, He's I got the it. same as Mount and I, Zeke. I, and that's what the argument's about. Right. I get it. But when you're talking about paying top dollar for a quarterback, that'll be $36 million. That's for a running the back market. 15, you can't who pay a guy. Dollar. Max, you cannot pay him $20 million. It doesn't work like that. The market says that this is what it is. Now, it, look, is he going to be the highest paid quarterback in the league? No. no. Should he be in that bunch somewhere? Yes, he should be. A, if, if the number's 36, he should be at 30, 31, 32, whatever that number is. But he shouldn't be 25, 26. No way. No. I think, I think 25 at, 
at most, actually, if I were a GM, and I wouldn't have given out to some of those contracts. That's quarterback why you're not a there's GM, because be, you'll get fired. There's going, <laughs> to be, there's going to be a market correction in the NFL where quarterbacks, like everyone's like, oh, he's got to reset the market. Not, that, that's no, not he doesn't. Problem, that's just though. for your that's position. Not, the, the there's going to be a not, market correction with quarterbacks. The correction Watch. is not his problem. The correction up of the arrow, not down. Get them. Of course he should want his money. I'm not talking about what he should want. I'm talking about what the team does. But the, yeah, team, but, can't, the team cannot afford to not take care of their franchise quarterback. Because, the guy's yeah. done everything the right way. You have to Or you to can't afford him. to take care of him. You think about oh, the time, man. the pre-Tony the pre Romo giant, era. You might be a secret Giant fan or something. <laughs> the pre-Tony so Romo secret. era. You talk about how the starting quarterback for the Dallas Cowboy is – possibly the preeminent sports position in all of this country, and you're saying that you don't pay this man. You think about before Tony Romo, and even during some of the time when Tony Romo was there, between that time and now, how terrible it was for that team to not have a quarterback. They finally have one, and you want a nickel and you know dime what? over a couple of million you know dollars? What? You know what? This I love is well, absurd. since 2016, Dak Prescott's 32 wins as a starting QB are only second in the NFL that being behind Tom Brady, who has... Go on so and get him, Charlie. Tell, tell him what it is. Tom Brady. Well, Tom Give him some stats. Yeah, I know. Tom, Tom Brady, Brady takes it. All right, guys, so we have got more NFL to talk about. So coming up next on First Take, could the Texans' defense lead Houston to the Super Bowl? That debate coming up next.